These are some peppers planted in deep mulch that I have completely neglected. That seems to be the story for me this year with my garden because I've had so many other things going on that I've neglected so much of it. But I planted these in deep mulch versus what I planted out there that I tilled up and did moderately traditionally. And these have done much better. I think I've gotten some peppers off of it, uh, but the kids got them before I got to them. What I mean by they have done better is that they haven't died. Uh, and actually they've grown a lot of leaves. They're still alive. In fact, here's a, I think this is a shishito pepper. It's done all right. It's laying over here on its side. Uh. Do you want to taste it? I'm fa I'm fasting. I can't taste it. Also, how long is this? It's a shishito pepper. It shouldn't be hot. Is it hot? No. I think I think it's a shishito pepper. That's what we have bad. Some shishito peppers are hot. I didn't label them. I just planted them. <laughs> but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you these and how they've done. I planted a sugar snap pea in between them. It wasn't that great. Apparently, he forfeited the rest of it. It smells okay. I'm going to dig these up, and I'm going to move them into the high tunnel because over here, I've completely neglected them. And in the high tunnel, I've got the irrigation that I just installed, and I can uh, make sure they get watered, and we're going to pay attention to them there. In fact, I might actually go ahead and plant some uh, sugar snap peas between them as well. We like peas. They don't take up a whole lot of space, and we're going to pay a whole lot more attention to them, but we'll just plant them directly in the soil. I'm just going to dig these up and put them in a bucket and take them over to the high tunnel. These have definitely done better than the ones that were out there. Uh, you see it's got some peppers on it, but I need to do a better job of labeling things. I didn't label them. I don't know what kind of pepper this is. So there's still some peppers that uh, we hadn't planted from the very beginning of the year. I never got them in the garden. They were sitting on the back porch. They've been sitting on the back porch and that's what we've got planted along here. Uh, we just planted that a few minutes ago and I turned the drip tape on. I've got all the other ones off. The valve is off, but the valve on this one, so that's pretty handy. I can water just what I need watering, and these others I don't need. I don't need right now, so I'm just watering this row over here right next to the edge. Been using this board, I'd say it's about 20 inches as a spacer between all of these. Uh, that way I get them about evenly spaced. Uh, about 18 inches is fine to space your bell peppers. Uh, some of these are looking really sad. It wouldn't surprise me if some of them didn't make it. I haven't amended the soil or anything. I purchased a fertilizer injector powered by the water that runs through it and it'll uh, put fertilizer directly in the water as it goes through the drip tape. I'm gonna get these planted and then they'll be watered in immediately. And Papa actually said something about planting some sweet corn in here just a few minutes ago as well. So take a look. All I'm doing is making a little hole. All I'm doing is making a little hole and then I get the pepper and put it in and then I mound it up over it. So here it is, just putting it right here in the hole. And I'm putting the soil over it and over the drip tape. Now, I don't know for sure if this is the best way, but this is what I'm doing. If you know of a better way or you know of a way I should be doing it differently, then uh, comment down below and let me know. A friend of mine, Eric Hale, told me that you can overwinter your bell peppers inside or in a greenhouse or something like that. These might last all winter long, especially if it stays warm enough in here. It needs water like every day. Dad, you know why boiling can't be boiled every day? Yeah. Why can't water every day? Because they die. They die. 
I've got just a few more to do, but I'm gonna do it the exact same way. We're probably gonna put some seeds in here later. So I might just plant the seeds directly in the soil here. If you don't think that's a good idea, then comment down below and let me know. If you like things like this, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification. Thanks.